Okay, Michael Lingefeld. Uh, he's a newbie, and very basic question, classic newbie question. Should a belt and a sporn always be worn? And I'll go further and say, should they always be worn together, or can they stand separately? Do you always have to have both? Okay. If you're a newbie. Or even um, if you're not a newbie. The, uh, I'll start with the most odd, is should a sporn be worn? Yes. The sporn is your pocket. Mm -hmm. It's where you keep your stuff, your keys, your smokes, your wallet, whatever. Um, so you do need to have a sporn on because a kilt, a traditional kilt, does not have pockets. So I will take mine off if I'm running around the office, but I'm within effectively arm's reach of my sporn at all times. Um, a belt should, when, it, when you're wearing a day sporn, you can wear a belt with a day sporn, that's fine. If you are wearing a vest or you are wearing a dress sporn, then you would not wear a belt, uh, or it's ish. Um, a dress sporn, which is an oval-shaped sporn with a metal cantle on the top and a little ball on the top of the cantle, when you sit down, that is actually going to knock into the actual belt buckle and either scratch the buckle or scratch the cantle on the top of the sporn or remove the <laughs> knock the ball off. So generally, when you're wearing a dress sporn, you're not wearing a belt. If you have on a vest, the vest comes down, you know, meets the top of the kilt and overlaps the top of the kilt by a couple inches. So generally, you're not going to see the buckle or you're only going to see a tiny little bit of the buckle. So general convention is when you're wearing a vest, you don't wear a belt because you can't really see it anyway. That's one of the rules that I will break on occasion if I really like my belt buckle or I just put it on and forget about it or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, so it's not the end of the world. You will not be strung up by your heels if you wear a vest and a belt buckle, but it's breaking with convention a little bit. Yep. I'll say occasionally I'll wear the belt with the vest if I think I might wind up opening the vest for a very casual look, you know, because yep. I am a hipster. Um, but the, uh, but otherwise, yeah, it's just, it's going to be in your way and it's mostly cosmetic. I mean, I do like the snug feeling you get from wearing a kilt belt, but it's not necessary to hold the kilt up. So you can go without it. The sporin, yeah, it's a practical thing. There's very rare instances where you're going to want to wear a kilt without a sporin. Maybe if you're one of these guys who puts all your gear into a jacket or something. Um, but no, nah, I think the, the sporin is um, pretty much going to always be there. Um, it can also uh, be a handy thing for hiding unsightly bulges on some occasions. So there's something to be said for having the sporin in the front. Hey, I'm just calling it like it is. I'm just and being honest. Helping your kilt sit between your legs yep. when you sit down. Yep. When you go sit down. Yep. Absolutely. So it has it has some hidden advantages as well, as well as just being a focal point that helps kind of draw the outfit together. So yeah, hopefully Absolutely. that helps, right? Yeah. Okay. 